folks, I'm Darren Carlin, Monsters Creek Outdoors. I'm going to do kind of a product review video here this morning. Uh, this time it's going to be on the Zippo hand warmer. This is a real, real uh, compact type hand warmer. I've been using one of these for a couple of years now, uh, especially when I'm deer hunting. It would also be great uh, for when you're turkey hunting as well because uh, you know you you go out during turkey season especially the earlier half of the season and you know some of those mornings are really really cold uh, I've turkey hunted on some mornings that's pretty much as cold as it was on some mornings that when I deer hunted uh, I've had the orange uh, hand warmer for a couple of years and been using it uh, Zippo makes a uh, couple of different colors or uh, well they, they've got a chrome one they got this black one they got an orange one the orange one's the one that uh, that I've had for a pretty good while and I think they may have a pink one and maybe another color um, uh, Zippo's uh, they also got some rechargeable uh, hand warmers nowadays but I like the idea better of this one that you put the uh, the lighter fluid in. <clears throat> of course, this is the Zippo uh, lighter fluid. I've used all different kinds of lighter fluid in them, but uh, <clears throat> you get you get a lot more to say consistent heat with the uh, hand warmer with the lighter fluid. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, recharging it. You know, all you got to do is is uh, refill it with lighter fluid again and of course, the Zippo rechargeable hand warmer, it's also a, like a power bank. You know, you can charge your phone off of it. But the only thing is, is I'm not real crazy about stuff that's got to be charged up when I'm out in colder weather because, you know, uh, colder temperatures definitely takes its toll on uh, battery-operated equipment. Uh, batteries, you know, go down faster. And they have a tendency to not want to hold up, you know, for as a long a period of time during cold weather. Uh, but this one, you can also see on the back there that uh, there's a picture of the chrome colored hand warmer. It's also got a, uh, a little filling cup and a, uh, and a little, like a little felt bag to put the uh, hand warmer in. So it says durable metal construction Gentle, flameless warmth, easy feel technology, reusable, small, sleek design. Warming bag and filling cup included. Uh, you know, it, it's real easy to hold in the hand, I do know. Because I like to, like when I'm sitting in a deer stand, I like to hold it in this hand, then hold it in this hand. Of course, usually I got the little bag goes in hanging on a like a lanyard hanging around my neck, and I can slip it down in it there. But when you're out there, uh, especially uh, in the in the hunting woods, you know it's a really, really uh, crucial, important thing that you keep your hands warm or your fingers warm, because you know that can make a big difference out there in the field, whether you get a shot at something or you know uh, whether you get a deer or not, or whether you get a turkey or not. Uh, you know, when that point in time comes, that moment comes, and you get ready to shoot or something, and your hands and your fingers are froze, you know, it's it's really, really aggravating. So it's really important, and it means a, a whole, whole terrible lot that, you know, you're sitting there with your hands and your fingers warm. So uh, this says 12-hour refillable hand warmer. You It, it will last up to 12 hours uh, with the with the full amount of lighter fluid in it, which is, uh, I'm not sure exactly how many ounces, but it's marked uh, 12 hours on the uh, on the measuring container. But I'm gonna open this up, and I'll show you closer here exactly what it looks like. But I have, I have loved the orange one that I've had over the last couple of years. There's the little uh, bag, little drawstring bag that it goes in. And right here is the little filling container. This is the little container that you put uh, this lighter fluid in. 
And I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a line across the top of this container right here. And it's got 12H in the middle of that line. If you fill it up to that line and dump that into the hand warmer, uh, it will produce constant heat uh, for 12 hours. So, and there's not really any way to turn the hand warmer off or anything. You know, you just, if you're not going to use it no more, you just have to sit it down, you know, and pretty much just let it, you know, burn through its course, uh, you know, and eventually go out when all the fluid, uh, of course, burns up. But uh, it does look a pretty good little bit like a big gigantic Zippo lighter right there. I said it's black. It's kind of a dark, more like a charcoal gray. The top comes off of it like that. And when you go to fill it, you see there's a wick in the top of it up here. When you go to fill it, you pull this top part off. You see that hole right in the middle? That's the hole that this goes in when you fill it up. So you put like the 12 hours, I guess if you want it to burn like six hours, you would fill that container uh, half full and put it in there. But you fill it, all you do is stick the wick back on, hold it kind of sideways like this, and, and wave a lighter under this wick for about eight or 10 seconds. And it will start, you know, with no... Uh, with no flame or anything, and you, then you just put the top on it. I'm gonna fill it up, and I'm gonna light it, and we'll see if this one's gonna gonna heat up good or not. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little uh, container, and I'm gonna take the lighter fluid, and I'm gonna fill it. I don't want to, I don't want it to last a long time right now because of I'm not actually going out hunting, so. I'm only going to fill this right here up to halfway, which should be like the six, six hour mark. You can see I got it about half full. I'm just going to pull that wick off. I'm going to stick that right in that hole. And just let it go in there uh, easy. Let it soak in through that wick. So now all I'm going to do is, is stick the wick back on. I'm just going to hold it like this. That thing will start. That's all it. That's all it is to it. Now that thing is, should start getting warm. I feel it getting warm. It's starting to heat up, but. I mean, it'll get it'll get pretty pretty warm. It won't get so hot that you can't hold it, uh, but it'll get really warm. You know, it gets really warm and it'll keep your hands and your fingers really really toasty. Uh, but it's you know it's thin. It's not it's not very thick. It's it's easy to hold on to, and you can just sit there you know and keep it in your hand like that. Uh, yeah, I feel the top of it getting get really warm now. It's already warming my fingers up sitting here. So, I'm just going to uh, go over the, the Zippo hand warmer here. It's a very uh, sleek, handy design, easy to carry with you, and an ideal product to uh, to keep your hands and your, your fingers warm 
that's very, very important out there in the outdoors or out there in the hunting woods. So, uh, uh, you get a chance, check out the Zippo uh, hand warmers. Uh, these, I think, range, I don't know, depends on where you purchase them from. Anywhere from 16 or $17 up to 24 I think they're 24 something actually on the Zippo website. So, uh, I think you would really like it. I believe you would if you're a serious uh, hunter, or outdoorsman, or, you know, you could even use one fishing. So, uh, until next time, I appreciate you watching on the uh, uh, review and uh, unboxing here on the Zippo uh, Sleep Hand Warmer. So, until next time, I'm Garen Carlin, Mosses Creek Outdoors, and I'll see you.